Are you guys ready for the reveal? We've got to do a full video on this, but let's do the reveal in three, two, one, reveal. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. We are so excited to have you here with us today. Today has started off super early for me. I had to get up early and go get the oil changed in my car. Can't think of anything less fun. But I did get a lot of work done. I got a new blog post up on how to host the perfect event. Not only that, but I updated our Pinterest quite a bit. I added a bunch over there, so head on over to our Pinterest. Hazy, hi. Brush those teethers. I think you just keep brushing the same tooth over and over and over. Let's move it all around your whole mouth, okay? Do you have dance? today? Uh-huh. Yes. And we did some beautiful dance hair. Look how pretty and your hair is getting so long. Maddie is only here for a few more days and I think we need to make the most of it and go do something fun today as a family. Brandon is busy getting the vlog out. I haven't talked to him yet, but I'm going to suggest something fun. Maybe a family hike, maybe a little outing. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I think we should do something fun to utilize the last few days that Maddie's here. Hazy, you look so pretty. Mana came over yesterday and gave you beautiful red lipstick. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna get Hazy to dance and we're gonna come home and we're gonna whip this house into shape and then have some Whoa. fun today. 20 minutes later. We went to dance and we had so much fun. She wore lipstick to show everyone and all of her friends loved it, huh? Uh -huh. Yep, we've got her dress for the day. Maddie is awake and alive to the world today. Hallelujah. Hello. We are leaving right now to film a fun video for my channel, Mindy's Best. It won't come out for a couple weeks. It's gonna be awesome. Brandon's gonna be here in charge of the boys. You guys be good boys, for real deal, okay? By the time I get back, I want everything clean, mopped, dusted, pine salt. We already did that. Oh, you did? No. Thank you for all your help. Love you. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna go out there and take care of the lawn today. Well, it's still pretty good weather. I do have to put on a little light jacket because it is kind of chilly out there. Raw guy is off playing with some friends. Hazy is here with me. Crew and Brex with me. We're just hanging out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go out mow the lawn. But not Rock guy because he's playing with Brenda. And he can because mom said he can't. Rock guy, such a good kid. He's been watching everybody this morning my mom got her oil changed he was watching the kids well I've been working and finishing up things while mom went with Maddie so he is now off hanging out with his friends well deserved well earned right guy let's get out there and mow this lawn As most of, if not all of you know, I broke my leg in two places a while back. I can't remember if it's been two or three years. I was at a skate park with the kids, kind of videoing them, you know, back before we were vlogging, but still documenting everything cool. Just chasing them up and down the bowls at the skate park. I would slide down them on my bare feet where it was kind of dusty. It was early season, nobody really been out there yet. But I could just slide down them on my feet, run after them, get a nice smooth video with the GoPro. Anyway, on one of the ramps, like the bowl side, hadn't used all day, slid down about halfway through. It wasn't slipper anymore, so my foot just stuck, rolled, spiral fractured my leg in two places. My tib fib. Are you okay? Yeah, I broke my leg. Anyhow, that resulted in probably the hardest six months of my life and our married life and our family life because it was my right leg. I couldn't drive. I ended up losing my job. Mindy had to take me everywhere. Literally had to do unspeakable things like help me go to the bathroom, get me up in the middle of the night. Anyways, very, very difficult time. So the result of that surgery was they put a metal rod in my leg, put four pins or screws in it, two at the top, two at the bottom, and just strung a pole, a little metal rod straight from my knee down to my ankle. It's never felt great. It's always kind of hurt. Figure that's just how it is. It just doesn't go back to 100% when you break it like that and you have surgery and you have metal rods put in your leg. It's just not going to be like it ever was. Well, in the last couple of weeks, trying to make this long story a little bit shorter so you guys can get caught up to speed here, I've been having a hard time when I crouch down to do something. I crouch down to give Hazy a hug or empty the grass clippings out of the lawnmower bag and standing back up again. It's like something happens when I crouch down or kneel down. Just any time I sit down, I don't know if it's like blood flowing back into it or what, but it just like throbs. The pain just starts to throb as if it's like broken almost. And it takes, you know, five, ten seconds for that to go away and then I can walk and it's normal. Started off that I had to be crouched down for a while for that to happen, like almost as if like the leg fell asleep or something. And then progressively, very rapidly though, over the last couple of weeks, it got to where if I just bent down for like a second, if I stopped walking for a minute. And now today, as I was mowing the lawn, it's just starting to hurt just to walk. Like it just has this throbbing pain all through that broken bone area. Just walking. I feel like I'm just kind of being stubborn here. I need to get on the phone and call the orthopedic surgeon and just get like a little update, check up, find out what's going on with the leg, why it's doing that. If that's normal, maybe get it checked out, make sure everything's okay in there. It's been so long. I have no idea what it could be. I've been feeling like I need to. This is kind of pushing me in that direction because like I said, it's getting progressive 
progressively worse literally every day. So I'm gonna jump on the phone right now, call them, see if I can get an appointment to get it checked out. Mindy's pressuring me pretty hard, so I can't let it go a minute longer. I'm gonna call right now, see if I can get in, see if I can get this looked at. Hello? Yeah, hi, for delivery. Can I get uh, two three-piece uh, chicken strip meals? Uh, first I gotta eat. Yes, hi, I'm not even sure I'm calling the right place. I had surgery on my leg a few years ago and had a metal rod placed in it. Brandon Bingham. Me and Maddie left for a little while to go do something a little fun. We went to Target and we bought some sweatshirts that we wanted to try bleach dyeing. We are just starting. Maddie has hers all prepped and ready. We got our bleach. We are not going to confuse this and use this in the kitchen. <laughs> got your gloves. There's your bleach. I already started mine and did a little bit of bleach on here. I'm just waiting for it to take full effect, full cure, and I'm gonna turn around to the other side and we're gonna wash them real quick. See if they turn out well. Really excited. We kind of wanted to do this. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I'm just so grateful that Maddie wants to do it with me. I'm excited. I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I just put bleach in my little barbecue squirter. I'm going to literally just go back and forth across it. There's no specific way I'm doing this other than just to make it look crazy. I'm gonna leave it like that, let it sit, bleach out. Maddie's about to do hers. This is black and it's gonna show up real quick. Ooh, wait, how should I do it? Like in the crevices or just like all yeah. over? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Are you nervous? Ah, it's getting all over. That's okay. Yeah, it's like not really sticking onto it. I think that's because it's brand new. I don't know. Maybe. She soaks that in there. I'm going to show you guys mine. It's been sitting for a minute so you can see it's starting to work. We're going to let it sit and then we're going to immediately wash it. Let's see what it looks like. We're going to wash it off in the tub. It? Yeah, you can open it. Oh my heck. Whoa. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, buddy. That looks so cool. That looks cool. It looks way rad. I love it. Sweet. <laughs> So, <laughs> okay, so last you saw, Maddie had hers in the sink. We took it out and we rinsed them out and then we threw them in the washer really quickly. You're supposed to wash them right away, which is different than tie dyeing with actual colors. Are you guys ready for the reveal? I can see it, so I'm kind of getting a sneak peek. These are insane. Are I'm you ready? I'm so excited. I wish I would have done like a full video because we freaking crushed but it. But the thing yeah. is, is you were worried that you wanted to learn how to do I'm it first now. and then show everyone how to do it. So now it's confirmed we've got to do a full video on this, but let's do the reveal in three, two, one, reveal. That is insane that you guys made. Those are so freaking cool. Great. You guys two did different methods? Is that what you're telling yeah, me? Yeah, so yeah. we looked up, the person that I saw that did this was her name was Mindy, Mindy McKnight. And so we went through and like watched her stories on exactly how to do it. Then Maddie researched on how to do a spiral. So she kind of did a spiral, you can tell. It is this so little, cool. This look right here. Maddie used a different method. We both used a little squirt bottle. It's not really good. That's incredible, guys. I mean, I don't even know what you did. I just know it smells like bleach in here. It looks <laughs> so cool. But Okay, we just came from Target. It felt like 75% of the clothes that are out and for sale right now are tie-dye. It was kind of difficult, number one, to find a solid color sweatshirt. Now, our clothes look like they belong in a store. Custom made, you guys. You can't get these off the rack. This is a Mindy Maddie exclusive. Uh, <laughs> I love them. I love them. I am so stoked on how those turned out. I cannot even handle it. Like I am like a giddy schoolgirl right now. Are you so excited? I, love I feel very proud of us. Yours. Hello. It's dinner time. And then we're gonna go get some fun treats with friends. We have a lot of leftovers. You guys know when we held Maddie's prom. If you haven't seen that video, you guys, stop what you're doing right now. Go watch that video because it is amazing. So fun. We had Cafe Rio catered. We have lots of Cafe Rio leftover. We had cheeseburgers the other night. We made a homemade pizza last night. We have leftover pasta salad, Thai peanut chicken, more pizza more pizza, leftover Caesar salad, chicken. I mean, the options are endless. We have got a lot of things here. We're just gonna put together some fun meals. Looks like we're gonna get rid of one piece of pizza. That's what crew wants. Maddie's digging into some rice and some chicken and some salad. She's gonna have some chicken salad that she's gonna make up. Oh, Maddie, we even have the yummy dressing leftover. It's been pretty awesome living off of leftovers today. We are gonna go now meet the Ravellis. We're gonna go meet them and go get some Dippin' Dots. There's a Dippin' Dot truck by us. We're gonna go get some yummy dessert with some friends today. That'll be a lot of fun. Who doesn't love a yummy treat on a summer day?
We have arrived at the Dippin' Dots station. I've never seen a Dippin' Dots food truck before out here, keeping us company. We're trying to decide what flavors we want to go with. As you can see, they are colorful, they are vibrant, they are delicious, and they do have cotton candy. So it really makes the decision process pretty short and small for me. They've got cookies and cream, cookie dough, rainbow ice, banana split, red berry. Oh, that's Sour Patch. Red berry's made of Sour Patch. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Or cotton candy. Cookies and cream, bro? Mm hmm Rex Doodle, yeah. Rainbow? Yeah, I like How is it? Good. Maddie, got some cookie dough? Mm -hmm. Pretty good variety until we get down here. Then it goes cotton candy, cotton candy, I'm cotton candy, mom's cotton candy. Marvelous Jack, and pumped. Mindy. Magnificent Mindy. Majestic Mindy. Magical Mindy. Let's see tomorrow if you can go a whole day with being nice to me. Should we try it? <laughs> we did that today. Oh, did I miss it? <laughs> <laughs> Where was I for that? It occurs to me to come to the end of the day here. We never really updated you on the deal with the leg. I made this huge deal out of my leg on the porch and kind of explained no. where things are at. Sweet Brandon thought that he would call the doctor and get in today. I was thinking I'd go in today. We had to have a little conversation on real life and that that doesn't always happen. <laughs> but also, I figured with the way that the pain is rapidly accelerating from like intermittent for that, though. To continuous, Do you to know what constant. It is? It's the emergency room. Oh, uh, I didn't think about that. I'm not gonna go to the emergency room. But I did think that, like, as I explained that to them, they would go, "Hey, well, let's get you in, make sure it's not anything serious." Today. <laughs> Turns out, you guys, drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> Their next available opening is in June. So I do have, I did call a couple of places to- uh, He's gonna get a second opinion. Quite a bit of time on the phone today, just calling around orthopedic surgeons. And I do have an appointment on Tuesday afternoon to get it looked at and with the original surgeon on June 2nd. So stick around, more to come on that. We'll find out what's going on. Hopefully by then I'm actually like walking and you're not like carrying me around. Oh, I won't carry you. I'm gonna get it looked at. I think that's a smart right thing to yeah, do. Yeah, I so think that gonna... he's had enough pain. He's fallen over enough times. <laughs> this is Vinny's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of army crawl my way to the you stairs and not. yeah. Come back tomorrow with a lot of fun, action packed, amazing, cool it's Friday. stuff. Friday, going into a weekend. It's going to be epic, going to be insane, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be magical Mindy, <laughs> majestic Mindy, magnificent Mindy, marvelous Mindy. Man, so many I'm Mindy's. Sleep in and you're going to serve me all day. Do come back. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. home because um, daddy broke his leg and he's going to the hospital